Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Future Stars continues on, and I think I'm getting the feeling that a lot of us are just not that excited for this promo right now and the content that is being released. Not to say that the content is bad, but we had very high expectations after last year in FIFA 22. Future Stars was an absolutely banging promo with so many great upgrade pack SBCs, player SBCs, and more. So I think our expectations were really high, and they're just not being met. Again, that's not to say I'm not going to sit here and complain the entire video today and talk about how Future Stars has been bad, because it has not been bad. It just hasn't been a 10 out of 10 hype promo. A lot of 6 out of 10 type stuff, 7 out of 10, you know. But that's the way that it is sometimes in this game. But we're also looking forward to the end of Future Stars, because that would mean the beginning of the next promo which we kind of already know we expect it because champions league is back today which means we're most likely getting road to the final next we already have the car design in the game it's been here since the beginning of the game we don't have really any news about it yet we just expect it to be coming soon could there even be re champions league related content today on fifa maybe a little uefa marquee matchups we'll talk about that potential for today on tuesday what else to expect today on the game and of course this market right now is very high prices that were very low on the weekend. And, you know, the selling and the sell-off that we had almost seems to have reversed, not entirely, but a lot of the way. Harry Kane's back up to 340, 350,000 coins after he was almost 300,000 coins flat on Sunday. A lot of prices have rebounded up. Could this be a good opportunity to sell in the short term? I think it could be, as well as fodder prices are up on the low tier because of the 84 times 5 and some of the 80-plus players pick action that we have right now on some very pretty good grindable menu content at the moment as well so we're going to talk about that today if you're excited for the video hit the thumbs up and of course if you're new around here hit that subscribe button let's just continue that entry conversation just for a second because i know a lot of you guys are maybe losing touch or maybe with FIFA right now, it just feels like you've lost some of the hype, right? Team of the Year was tiring, hard to pack those cards. Future Stars did not live up to 100% of the hype. Yes, we've had a lot of really good cards, but look at last year, man. We had flashback Neymar. This year, we have flashback Chris Smalling and Phil Jones, right? Kind of a funny comparison there. We've had more flashbacks, and there's some more coming, but we had so many reunion player picks and the party bags. I was really excited for the re reunion player pick this year. I feel like EA has missed out so much by not dropping that SBC. Um, and especially again, like looking at it last year, we didn't get it just once last year. We had it twice with a party bag two different times last year as well, which guaranteed winter wild cards, team of the year honorable mentions, future stars team one and team two. So that's the kind of stuff that I feel like this promo is lacking from last year when we really, really enjoyed future stars. Uh, now, again, I'm not saying that the content this year is really that bad. It's just not as spectacular, right? Yesterday, we had another gamble pack released, the 84 plus times five, which they actually changed the requirements on, which is a bit unfortunate, uh, but we can do this every single day. So it's kind of a gamble pack, right? Being able to do it just like the 85 plus player pick last week. It's an 84 rated squad, 84 squad with two 85s, which has actually made the 83s and the 85s go up more than the 84s because of the 84 requirement. So we'll take a look at fodder in a second. But yesterday with that SBC and the 80 plus player pick, it was nice to see uh, a couple grindable SBCs released to the game. This is only a one of two, unfortunately, but we it is pretty grindable and it's a player pick, which is nice. This is one of the better player pick SBCs on repeat we have been able to do this year. Yesterday, we also had the Stefan Jovetic moments SBC, which is is cool because it's not that expensive uh, only two squads so ggs to ea nice upgrade for him again kind of like the vela sbc not amazing but just kind of cool right but for the rest of that right the, the other player species like that sbc the Jovetic, it's just kind of mid right it's not insane it just kind of feels like filler content as we're going through this promo but at least ea has given us cool players uh special cards for players that we don't often see so since we're near the end of Future Stars, and a lot of us, I think, feel like we're just kind of ready for it to just end and fizzle away like it seems it's probably going to be, we're looking forward to the next promo, which, again, we do really believe is going to be Road to the Final, not just because the card designs are in the game, but just because it makes sense. If we use common sense here and think, oh, hey, Champions League starts back today, Europa League tomorrow, and Conference League as well this week, it just makes sense. And of course, Foot Sheriff has said as well that this is the next promo that is expected to come as those cards were added as a rarity, which I'm not sure where he got that because literally all those cards have been added into the game since the start of FIFA 23. We've had those card designs 
in the transfer market search. But again, Road to the Final is always, it's one of the kind of the marquee promos that we think of every year, especially in the past three to four years of FIFA since they've started this because it brings live upgrading cards back to the forefront of the hype. When was the last promo that we had with live cards? You know, it's kind of been a minute, right? So we had a couple in the fall, right? But now we have live cards once again with these Road to the Finals hopefully coming pretty soon. And yes, we're going to see some of the same player names that we're used to seeing. We could maybe see guys like Neymar, maybe Chouameni, maybe Xionmin Son gets a Road to the Final card, right? Last year we had Renato, Alex Telles, Cuadrado. We had a really good uh, side last year of players. Uh, but it also brings the live aspect and it ties in a competition in real life into FIFA, which is really, really exciting. Now, again, today is the beginning of the round of 16, the first leg, right? You've got Milan and Tottenham, also PSG and Bayern today, which also has us asking questions. Could we see the return of a very popular, most often released on a Champions League Tuesday, SBC and FIFA? Could we see UEFA marquee matchups? And I'm shocked because, you know, I thought earlier on in the year we had it more times than just this, but I kind of remember it now. We've only had UEFA marquee matchups one time this year in FIFA 23. This was an SBC that dropped all the time in previous FIFAs. Like every single week, there were matched games in uh, sometimes Europa League and Champions League they did for these four. Uh, they would always drop UEFA marquee matchups, but this year they have not been dropping them as much. So I don't think we're really going to see a UEFA marquee matchups today, but we have to kind of talk about it because that potential is there for there to be more pack supply. And UEFA MMs have messed up the market before just because like regular marquee matchups, it's usually only two segments, but it drops in some of these kind of easy, you know, challenge SBCs to do for tradable packs back in return. Also, EA could put a token into a UEFA marquee matchups as well. We have two tokens left to be released. We're on 28 tokens out of 30 right now after we got two yesterday. So that could be one place where maybe EA drops a token today. Who knows? But just kind of keep a close eye out for that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about it because I feel like it's got a very low percentage chance of happening. But it's technically something that could happen today on this game. Now, let's just talk Tuesday content again for a little bit longer because we talked about the 84 times 5. That's going to refresh today. We talked about the Jovetic. That's another leaked SBC boom that we've seen in the game. There are two more leaked SBCs, and I've got a hunch. Remember how we had the uh, Phil Jones leak, and then we had Chris Smalling not too long after that, and we're like, wow, two English center backs, and then they ended up being a part of the same SBC could this be some of the, you know, a similar sort of thing with two strikers that we now have leaked as flashbacks? We have official stats for Balotelli. Foot Sheriff tweeted yesterday, these are going to be his official stats. They don't look that incredible, but it looks usable at the very least, right? And especially if they would give him five-star skills like his Tots card had last year. Hopefully they do that and make it cheap just because this man, I mean, he's nominated for Pushkas goal of the year for one thing, but it's Balotelli, right? He's a FIFA legend. He's a football legend. So those are his official stats. Hopefully he gets a nice juice. But could it be with the Balotelli and this Haller card, could they actually be just like Phil Jones and Smalling, one SBC for Balotelli, but then maybe in one of the segments inside of it, Haller is one of those segments to get done. You know, that sort of thing. I guess I wouldn't have thought of it before, but after seeing what we saw on Saturday with those two center backs, maybe he is going to do that with these two striker center forward cards. Uh, as well today or sometime this week. I don't know if any or both of these guys are going to be dropped today, but that's just kind of something across my mind since we just saw it. Maybe we're going to see it again, but maybe they will be released as separate SBCs as flashbacks in the next couple of days this week. I would expect to see most likely one of those today. You know, the player SBC streaks have been uh, returning pretty strongly, so I would expect to see one, if not, maybe those guys combined into one SBC today as well. Now, again, for objectives, we got our last uh, Future Stars Academy player yesterday, which also there's a token inside of this. So you're like, Nate, where were the tokens yesterday? There was one inside of this first objective, just like for the Jesper uh, Danish guy in here. You have to just score a couple goals, four goals with an Italian player in squad battles or rivals. So you get that done. Boom, you get your swaps token and you get your first version of Rovella. Not a terrible card. Not amazing. A lot less like 25 games of squad battles, way better than like 30 something or whatever it was, or the Jesper um, Lindstrom card. But that was part of content yesterday. And then we had another token challenge. So today on Tuesday, for our token, hopefully we get two tokens because the guys, again, if you take a look at the swaps, do they actually expire on Friday? 
Okay, they don't. They give us a couple more days. Six days we have. Basically, next Monday, these are going to be going away. But I believe all the tokens and uh, the date that EA did give us was the 17th, which uh, that must be incorrect because uh, the date on the website, I believe, for swap says it's going to end on the 17th. But these are still, still going to be here until the 20th based on the countdown timer. So I'm not entirely sure. But uh, today would probably be the last or second to last day where we would see a token released. We've seen Tuesdays as the first owner fee Fiesta objective being the most common place to put their tokens on Tuesdays. We'll see if they do that again today. I hope just for the sake of the community that they don't, right? I hope they make it easy. Maybe just give us another SVC today uh, because first owner Fiesta, that would be the third time a token would be inside of this. And it's kind of difficult for some people because you only have 12 games to play and you have to win seven. That's not very easy for everybody in this game. Just to make it easier, I hope EA, especially at the end of this uh, token swaps, um, kind of program i hope they make it easy today but just watch out for that because we could have some tokens and sbcs maybe our tokens and objectives again to finish off our 30 which we believe is just going to be 30 30 flat no extra ones according to the way ea made it sound on their website uh the store packs were going to count towards the 30 so not entirely sure on that but that's what i would watch out for for today in terms of content now let's talk market right because We've seen a nice market rise once again, a little bit more than I honestly thought it was going to be, but it made us some really, really good coins. I bought a lot of these cards on Sunday night as we you know, were recording the video, and right afterwards, I even talked about buying some of these cards in that video. Uh, there were some really, really good flips, right? I bought a Ka Kavicha, Kavara Dona. I still have him. I bought him at 565. He was up at like 650. I was trying to get a little bit more. He's back down a little bit. If he spikes again today on Tuesday, I might take the cash, but I really think today on Tuesday, according to the how the market market has worked in the past couple of weeks today might be a really solid day to sell some cards that have rebounded back up remember yesterday on the video we were looking at Mbappe, 800 000 coins flat right he yeah he was 870 880 on friday but you look at sunday he was dropping down 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 he was 795 right 800 000 coins and then yesterday boom the market roared back as it normally does on mondays and now these cards are up in price once again not a bad time to sell guys honestly not a terrible time to sell i'm not saying that i believe road to the final is going to crash the market uh but i just feel like with kind of the lack of hype this game is experiencing at the moment and at least a little bit of the drop off of the hype i'm going to go ahead and check this harry kane and make sure that this uh 315k undercut here that is literally a like 40k undercut is not just sitting on the market right now but i doubt it is unless the market's really dead it's not that dead yet guys this is not like summertime where it's been sitting for two minutes and still showing a foot bid. but you know, I do think it's a good opportunity to sell a few of these cards that have rebounded back up like a card like this, because if, especially if we're getting two flashback striker cards in the next couple of days, even if those guys aren't that insane, that will take a bit of demand away from strikers on this game. So, you know, not just for strikers, but in the rest of the market in general, price is kind of rebounding back up right now on this game. Not a bad time to sell because Tuesdays and the weekly fluctuation of this market have been the high point for cards that are in, out of impacts as well if we take a look at future stars from team one last week look at this ryan Cherokee card right he followed the same trend went a little bit low sunday to monday boom up to tuesday and then as we got further on in the week he was 660 on tuesday stayed at 660 on wednesday but then into Thursday and Friday, this Cherokee card went down, right? He was even lower. We know this. He was 500K. Now he's back up to 609. I do believe that some of these cards, especially from Team 1 of Future Stars, like the Malasia, uh, the Body of Shill as well, I would be very careful holding on to these guys at the moment because I do feel like they're very overpriced. And since they were a part of the mini release, they will continue to drop down. But for the rest of the market as well, again, I'm not telling you to panic sell. Um, if there's cards that you're holding on to in your team, this is kind of like for a short term flip. Like if you bought, um, maybe if you bought Body of Shill, who I actually was able to pack yesterday from the store pack to get one of the tokens. But if you bought him at like 100,000 coins or like 93K on Sunday, and he's up to like 115, I would look to take the cash on this because I believe he will be lower once we get to Thursday on this game, um, especially with more supply coming in. And if we get UEFA marquee matchups today, that could make these impacts cards from Future Stars Team 2 drop even a little bit further as well. So just keep a close eye on this side of the market. But for the market in general, Tuesdays mornings, especially Tuesday mornings before content, are usually a nice time to sell. And also right now in this game, 
EA is draining coins every single second of every single day with 80 plus player picks that people are a big fan of. 5,000 coins a piece. I believe non-rares are about 550 to 600 coins per. And these are pretty craftable, right? We were really hoping for that 81 plus times three, but I guess that was too good to be true. Uh, but it is nice to have a pretty good value player pick here that only requires, uh, what is it, like eight players or something like that and one rare. So 5,000 coins per player pick, that means basically you need to be averaging 83s and 84s in most of the player picks but every time you get an 85 or an 86 maybe an 87 you know that's really where the value kicks in with these 80 plus player picks and i know that they're not that great but at the very worst you're getting an 81 probably an 82 rated card with a couple 80s thrown in there and what can you rinse into those you can rinse into the 82 plus or the 82 squad that gives you the 82 plus player picks, right? The Future Stars Academy upgrade. So I've even done a couple more of these today. With these 80 plus player picks alone, I probably spent, I don't even know how many I did. I did about 50 of them. And I was able to complete the last squad of Ramos. I was able to do four of these. And that enabled me to do the whole entirety of the Decatalera SBC yesterday. So if I spent about, let's say, 240, 250K on player picks, I finished a squad of Ramos. Um, I finished off a couple of those uh, 82 plus player picks and I did the, the Ketelera SBC. So it's not absolutely, you know, stunning value. Like I didn't do this for like, you know, 50K or something like that, but I was able to do it from doing a bunch of those player picks, getting a lot of fodder. And uh, I think I did some other SBCs as well. I uh, yeah, the 84 plus times five. I did that from crafting in the 80 plus player pick. So this is a pretty solid SBC. If you want to be crafting this week, this one is worth a go because it just gives you a lot of opportunity to get fodder at a pretty cheap price. I just wish it was like one of three. If it was one of three, that'd be even better. And of course, that 81 plus times three would have been spectacular, but probably a little bit too good to be true. Now, speaking of fodder, just a little bit here, a little bit more at the end of this video, 84s are still kind of low and it doesn't make sense, right? Because it's an 84 rated squad inside of this player uh, pack, the 84 times five. But with the specific requirement that's in here, having two 85s in the squad, you don't need as many 84s. You put two 85s in an 84 rated squad and that takes the number of 84s that you need down by like at least three or four. And then instead you put in 83s and that's why 83s are even up further in value. If you take a look at the index 83 and the index 85, you can see that those are the ones that went up the most yesterday. Index 84 still went up a little bit and still had a bit of a spike, but it kind of went down more so than it went up with 85s having, you know, the probably the biggest spike at the moment um and then still 82s are in demand so be watching 82s and 81s as well uh because 82s are actually down right now huh? i'm really telling you guys 82s are a great way to trade every single day on this game because people are doing those 82 plus player picks for the future stars academy upgrade you can get these guys on bid for like 1,000 coins a piece list them up at like 1.5 to 1.7 k and you will get sales uh because people will be buying them maybe some lazy buyers in there as well um so of course if there is any tradable supply today that'd be a great opportunity to just kind of mindlessly do stuff on the market um in terms uh, of these cards right there. So just kind of watch out for fodder. I would say if you have 84s, still hold on to them. Lazy list them at like six to seven K because it's not over yet. We still could get some other sort of SBC today. Maybe EA turns around on the hype or maybe a Balotelli that would potentially get dropped today is good value. And a lot of people want to go and do it, even though it's tough to link that sort of thing. Uh, it could make 84s go up today. So I would hold on to those just for the hope that they would have another opportunity to spike before we get to about Thursday. And then 85s are probably going to spike again today up to about 16 17,000 coins on some of the cards nearing their max price um, well some of them that have uh, non-updated ranges some of them still have max prices of 17k so just be careful of that but these guys will probably spike up again today with that 84 plus times five refreshing on this game and then other than that i mean other things to expect today on tuesday uh the history makers upgrades we mentioned that in yesterday's video and i didn't know the actual date but it actually is today. So if you have a history makers, um, whatever it is, if you haven't turned it into an SBC, these guys will be getting a plus one once again today. That's their final upgrade. The last one they'll be receiving, but they do get an upgrade today. And then of course, one last quick shout. Today's technically Valentine's Day. So will EA drop the Napoli kit, you know, with the big like lips, you know, emoji looking thing on the side of the kit? Or will they drop a free pack for Valentine's Day or something like that? I don't I don't remember if they did anything last year. I honestly have no idea if they've ever done anything for Valentine's Day. Maybe a kit or something. It'd be like something that could perfectly drop in the store uh, and, and get people to spend 25K on would be like a, 
a heart kit or something. I don't know, but you know, I guess there's a shout for something along those lines to be dropped into the game today as well. So that's kind of the content for today. I do think the market is still going to stay, you know, up a little bit, but I do believe you will see prices start to drop off. And especially if you're going to be on the foot market at all during Champions League, hop on bids guys during big games like Champions League games, hop on the bids because there's less people on the market. You'll be able to watch prices, get on some really good bids and sell those afterwards, especially if a player in the PSG or the Bayern Munich game, even though we don't have live cards out right now, I mean, besides a couple of them, right? Like we do have a Mane ones to watch, you know, and stuff like that, but just be, just be wary of cards that are, are not even live. If a player plays really, really well, uh, you know, you could see some card prices actually go up because people would see a player perform well in real life and want to go use their card on FIFA. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. That happens during big games and Champions League is back. So the big games are back on. But if you enjoyed today's video, guys, and if you're excited for a Tuesday today on FIFA, hit a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments, especially about the beginning of the video. How are you feeling right now on FIFA? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling worn out? Feel like there's not too much to do? Are you excited for Road to the Final? Or are you just loving these cool cards that EA is putting out and giving us different opportunities to try different players? Because that is a very fair point and very fair attitude and very optimistic attitude to have on this game right now. I, I definitely like the different cards. I think it's cool. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It has been Nate the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.